Welcome back this morning. Now, Valentine's Day is just around the corner. Guys, if you've left it to the last minute to spoil your loved one, you've got to watch this. Mm -hmm. And our next guest has something that can seriously save your relationship. Quentin Long from Australian Traveller magazine joins us to share his pick of the most romantic spots that you can still book. Yeah. Now, Quentin, first up, let's start with the spa capital of Victoria, Hepburn Springs. Hepburn Springs, the best, most romantic place in Hepburn has got to be Hepburn on Hepburn. I mean, if, if Barry White designed a hotel, it would look a lot <laughs> like this. It's got the most gorgeous, soft furnishings, really beautiful studio flats, wow. oh, and, the, and like really modern, funky stuff that makes you feel really welcome and snugly. And the thing I think is a real secret is it's got a fireplace that warms both the bedroom and the living room, and this glass-walled uh, bathroom that has a massive tub, great for a soak. It's a fabulous place to stay. I love it, and it's just absolutely quintessential romantic getaway. And about two hundred and seventy-five dollars for Valentine's. Valentine's Day, yeah, and three hundred and fifty bucks for the following weekend. And you can get it to everything in the Hepburn Springs. So you go get a spa treatment, all that sort of stuff. It's oh. fabulous. What about New South Wales? What's your top pick for Sydney? Yeah, Sydney's a bit expensive. So the, I love the Siebel at Pier One, That's and the beauty. Yeah, the beauty of it is it's actually really unknown. It's just on the other side of the Harbour Bridge, really secluded. It's like an oasis right in the heart of the CBD and reasonably priced for its location. Great contemporary rooms. Obviously, you need a good tub and a fantastic view of the harbour. And for Valentine's Day, they've got great special packages mm -hmm. as well. Five ninety nine includes everything you'd want. And you can take your dog. Oh, yeah. This is a fabulous place for dogs. They've got a of course. doggy... They've got a doggy room menu. So, for example, you can order your dog a T-bone steak. It'll turn up, cut up with the bone, yeah. just for the pooch. He has romance. his own mat. That's yeah, that's well, that's romance. really good. That's going to kick off my Valentine's. All right, yeah, now, it's a bit if, different. Quentin, if that's blowing the budget a little bit, what have you got for Sydney siders who want something that's a little bit more wallet-friendly? Yeah, look, it's really hard in Sydney. The best I can find is the Carrington up in Blue Mountains, mm -hmm. 90 minutes west. Mm -hmm. It's one of those old, majestic hotels. Wow. It really speaks of the great Gatsby kind of feel. It used to be in the 20s, the place where everyone would go yeah. and, and they'd all check in as Mr and Mrs Smith, if you know what I mean. Yep. It's a bit worn around the edges. Brad and Ange have stayed there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a bit worn about the edges, but it's still got that grand, majestic feel and Beautiful. I love it. Really affordable rooms. Uh, billiard room, grand dining room, high teas, go for a walk, see the three sisters, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Reasonable rooms, 175 bucks That's or, great. Uh, for a night on, on Valentine's Day. I don't think you can beat it. Next up is Queensland. Now tell us about uh, all those cosy cottages up Tambourine Mountain. Yeah, they're fantastic. They look like like gingerbread cottages to me. <laughs> One bedroom, beautiful little kitchenette, fantastic big bath, and that's what I think is really important. Um, beautiful four-poster beds that you can actually just lounge in and, and you know, really enjoy the weekend. Um, Really close to lots of amenities, but you do feel like you're secluded and you can really escape, Look at and that. it's just such yeah, a snuggly huge. little place. Built for two, I love it. Outdoor uh, showers and, and really just a beautiful place to stay. And for anyone who has some cash to splash, what have you got on the Gold Coast? Yeah, look, this hotel is a bit controversial and I love it. I'm not a Versace guy, mm -hmm. clearly, but this place is fantastic. You've got to get into it. Palazzo Versace, the quintessential glamorous sort of weekend. Think of Paris Hilton and having that experience. The foyer is so OTT, so you just got to get into it. The rooms are nice and compact. The best bathtubs in the whole of this country for two people. Fantastic expensive? place. Expensive? It can be very expensive. 4 45 on Valentine's Day and 5 10 at weekends, but hey, it's a Paris Hilton weekend. It's worth it. That's right. right. Thank Thanks you, Quentin. So Thanks, guys. Now, Janie has something that could make val your Valentine's Day a winner.